Hi, it's Letitia from YoungFinances.com. Today we're talking about how to budget for an apartment. So if you're thinking about moving out and you're trying to figure out if you can get your own place, then it's time to set up a budget. And I always say set up a budget, but uh, your budget changes. It changes as you change. And especially when you make new decisions and you decide to do some new things with your life, like move into an apartment. So when I decided to get my first apartment, I knew there were a couple of things that I was gonna need, namely all the little things that go into an apartment, like furniture, like tables and chairs, I guess, cause people have to sit somewhere. And then I also wanted plants, all of these things you're going Going to need to remember to budget for. So I'm gonna help you budget for an apartment so you can be ready to move out. Step one, set your monthly amount that you'd like to pay for rent. If you make a thousand dollars a month and you think you can afford five hundred dollars a month, just stop. Your monthly rent expense should be no more than about 23 to 25 percent of your take-home pay, not your gross pay, but what you exactly bring home each month. So if you bring home a thousand dollars a month, then 23 to 25 percent is 230 to $250. It seems like a small amount, but you probably need to get a roommate or you probably need to wait until you're really ready to move out. Then for your utilities, you're going to want to budget about 10% a month for utilities. So that's gonna bring your total housing payment to about 33 to 35% a month. And that's a really good place to be when you're thinking about renting a new place or moving out to an apartment. So when I got my first job, I had a take home pay of just around 2000 or a little over 2000. And my first apartment was $680. Actually, it was started out, it was $640 a month in rent. And then I had about $40 more in utilities. So I was spending about $680 to live on my own. And I was able to maintain that payment because I used that percentage rule. So keep that percentage rule in mind. The next thing that you need to do is budget for all of those little expenses and for all of your furniture and things like that. I was on an all cash budget because I was in the process of paying off my credit card debt. I couldn't go to that place where black people and white people buy furniture the red house. and use credit. So I had to use all cash. I decided to go to Ikea because it was a great place where I could get inexpensive furniture and kind of furnish the apartment. So I got pieces a little bit at a time. I didn't go out and furnish the entire apartment when I first moved in because that would have increased my monthly expenses. So I set aside a little bit of money each paycheck and each month in order to furnish my apartment. And then finally, set aside some cash just for the little stuff, food that you're gonna be eating as soon as you move in, and any of these last minute surprises. I had a gas bill that I had to pay from an old apartment I didn't even know I had that I had to pay that came $47 out of pocket. I had to make sure that I had some extra cash saved up in order to take care of those expenses. So those are my tips on budgeting for an apartment. Now that you live on your own, think of all the fun stuff you get to do. Start your own YouTube channel from LA to Tokyo. I have an entire post on how I saved up for moving and all of the little amounts that I saved up for and exactly what I spent when I moved into my new apartment. So if you go to youngfinances.com, you can read that post. I'll put the link in the box below. And I'd also love for you to leave a comment below um, if you have any suggestions for people that are moving out. This video was requested and so I really appreciate any suggestions. If you have ideas for videos upcoming, just let me know and I will get on it. In the meantime, subscribe because I've got new videos coming out every Tuesday and be sure to hit the like button and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.